Okay, so um, with that warning, if you haven't watched the video about commas, please go back and watch the video about commas. Um, let me show you what's going to make you super happy about JFlap. Um, the last feature that I want to show you is a feature where you can test a whole bunch of input strings on a um, DFA all at once. So we're going to go back to that input um, uh, menu again, and we're going to select multiple run. And now you can just type a whole bunch of options here. Let's move this over a little bit. I'm going to right click and get rid of those state um, variables. So I'm going to try just an A by itself. I'm going to try two A's. I'm going to try the empty string. If you want to do the empty string, you need to go down here and just click Enter Lambda. Um, I'll do three A's. I'll do three A's and one B. I'll do a bunch of A's. I'm not sure how many. And three B's. I'll do some A's and two B's. I'll do just two B's. I'll do one B. I'll do just three B's. Um, and I can also make the text size a bit bigger. Um, and then I can just say run inputs. And it tells me, except, you know, reject, 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 right? all through it tells me what's going on. It doesn't actually write a lambda here. We just have to know if it's blank, it's saying the empty string, right? Um, we can also uh, import a file and just test a whole bunch of things um, in a single file. So somewhere down here, um, I have a, uh, a text file. Here's one. Um, my alternate text file, right, which has BBB, all these things in it. Um, and if you load these from the file and you don't um, get rid of uh, the stuff that's already here, it'll just kind of go on to the end of it. So I could say, um, let's uh, load some inputs. And I think it's in here, believe it or not. There's my alternate text file. So you can see it just stuffed the new ones underneath here, and I can reduce the text size so I could see them all, and I can run inputs, and it just tells me what happens, rejected or accepted um, by the machine, right? You can also hit clear so that you can um, load an input file. Let's go back to in there. I have another example text file. Um, and the only thing you really need to know, let me just open up my um, example text file. So here's my example text file. The only thing you need to know is that you just need to separate the strings that are in your text file with white space. So it can be a bunch on the same line with spaces or tabs or whatever in between them. Um, actually, to be perfectly honest, I haven't tried tab, but I bet it works. Um, a new line character counts as a... Um, as a uh, um, white space too. So you can see that, um, let's see, can I make this a little bit bigger? Uh, let's see, I can format the font in my text file, which seems ridiculous, but that's okay. Let's make it 22 point. Um, so here are my strings in my text file, and then I will increase the table text size. Um, so you can see I have an A, then two, then three, and I have one, two, and three. I have A, B, A, B, B, C. So it's just copying it all out there. And I can um, just say run inputs, and boom, it tells me which are accepted and which are rejected. So that's a great feature.